I was informed that uh, he wanted Nicole and I in the movie. And uh, I read the script. And Nick was shooting Portrait of a Lady at the time. And I'd read it there, and he said, please have it, you know, I'll give it to you the day before. Or maybe even, he said, you keep it the weekend, then we'll, we'll meet, you know, if you want to meet me in a few days. But I, I just also, I wanted to show to him that I was trustworthy, that he could trust me, that, you know, he could tell me anything. I would never discuss it with anyone. And so I read the script and, and flew immediately to where he was, to his property. And I landed on his property in this helicopter. And I said, look, I'm sorry about this, but otherwise it's a six-hour drive, and I've got, you know, my babies are here, and Nick, and I, I couldn't figure out another way how to get there quickly and then get back. And, of course, you know, he had he'd set up the landing pad, and I remember the helicopter coming in onto his property, and he'd given me the GPS coordinates to give to the pilot and told me, uh, sent me a diagram of where he wanted me to land the airplane, the helicopter. And uh, I remember just landing in, and there he was, just, just waiting, just alone. In, in the garden as it came down. And the helicopter came down and we discussed the helicopter and what kind it was and how many hours that I'd flown in these helicopters. And he walked me around the grounds. And, and I just remember thinking, this guy's kind of a magical, wonderful guy, you know? And I was so nervous. I remember talking to Sydney and saying, listen, what happens if, if I don't like a word? Or I, I mean, what, what's it gonna be like? I mean, can I? You know, what do I say to him? I, I don't want to offend him. And yes, and he was thinking just, you know, he's, 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 you know, and I was, he's, he's human, you know, you just talk to him. I say, oh yeah, of course, I just talk to him, you know. I just talk to Stanley. We told him right at the beginning, whatever it takes. And the two of us together, you know, we you have to say, I'm glad it didn't, it would, didn't happen in the first year, you know, years of our marriage. It would have been very difficult to confront those issues and, and, and even though we had a very strong bond, and but you know we're still, it would have been, I, you know, it would have been very difficult for us to do that. Uh, I don't know what would have happened. I'm not saying that our marriage would have broken up, but I'm just saying it would have been much more difficult. And even there were times where it was very difficult during the making of the movie. Uh, times where, you know, the, the characters are at odds, and all of these, the you know, these raw you know, emotions are there, and you can't, you know, when you're in the middle of a scene, you, you know, I'm, you, especially the way Stanley is working and the way I work, you don't just fire it off and go, okay, honey, what do you think? You know, you're, you're respectful and disciplined about it, but it, it does, it does invade your life. It is there. It is pervasive, especially I worked every single day. Uh, except for only a few days on the movie, and there I was with Stanley, and it was me and Stanley in the trailer, and me and Stanley, you know, and, and, and Nick uh, a lot of the times, and it it was there, and, uh, you know, I think he knew that uh, what I was going through. Uh, I remember at some point uh, when we were going along, and I just, I just felt, you know, you feel frustrated at times playing a character like that for so long and finding, because every scene needed, every scene, you know, Stanley would say, look, we gotta earn every scene with this character, every single moment with this character. And the two, and he knew that, you know, in times when I just get frustrated with myself and uh, that, at times that we couldn't get it, you know what I mean? It was just like, you know, fuck. It just, uh, or you just know when you don't have that, it, that fire burning that day, or if I was tired, it just, you know, and I bring it upon myself, you know, because I demand a lot of myself. Um, and I know there are a lot of people in my life that are saying, when are you coming back? What do you, you know, because I've got a company that I had, and when are you coming back? And I, and I remember, talking to Stanley and I said, Stanley, um, look, I don't care how long it takes, but I have to know, are we going to finish in six months? You know, this is after shooting. So am I going to finish? But can I, can I set meetings and have people because people were waiting and writers were waiting and people that I was paying because I said, Stanley, I don't care. I, tell me it's going to be two years, Stanley. And he'd say, oh, Tom, don't be ridiculous. 
ridiculous. I mean, if it takes if it takes that long, you know, I mean, then what? You know, everything they say about us is true. You know, <laughs> and I would laugh, and and uh, you know, and I say, okay, all right, Stanley. The last day of shooting, a day that. Uh, that I, you know, had both looked forward to and dreaded, you know, looked forward to because I just, you know, there was an, enough with Dr. Bill in some ways, you know, and dreaded because I didn't want the experience to, with Stanley to end. And, and I remember saying, hey, you know, I was walking out and I gave him a kiss and a hug and I said, you know, I said, I love you, Stanley, you know that. And, uh, and he turned to me, and he was just right there, and it was just a quiet moment. It, it was late at night, and he said, you know, I love you too. And he said, thank you, and I said, thank you. And it was much like the moment of, uh, you know, of the last time we spoke. You now I shared three years of my life with this man, and, uh, It must have been an unbelievable thing to have heard that he died so soon after the film had been finished. What was that to your immediate reaction? My immediate reaction was one of absolute shock. Uh, and disbelief. Uh, And even when I went to the funeral, going to the funeral, I, you know, I was not in a good way, and I was very concerned about Nick and very concerned about Christian and his family. And uh, and concerned uh, about the movie, you know, because I know what it meant to him and what it meant to me, uh, and 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 my wife, my co-star, my love, and. Uh, I, I still even went to the funeral thinking, you know, somewhere it was, uh, you know, I mean, it was, it was ridiculous because somewhere still inside I thought, and Nick and I were talking, that it's not true. Somewhere deep inside I wanted to believe this is not true, that I'm going to go and I will show up at the house and he will be there. It's, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it was illogical and it wasn't something that I actually, but somewhere there was a part of me that went there and not until we went into the room where we'd have dinner with Christiane and we drank, you know, when Nick and I were first there in the fireplace and there was Stanley and Christiane, you know, and And there was the coffin, and it just, you know, it just was absolutely absurd.